All right, got something a little different today. This here is uh, my DA. It's a, the, the DA stands for dual action. And it's made for sanding cars and stuff like that. And I've had it for a while, but it's I've always taken care of it, you know. I, mean, I never oiled it every single time I used it, but uh, oiled it enough to keep it running well. And you can see it's, it's not in that bad a shape. The disc is, but uh, even the disc is in good shape. But uh, it froze up on me. And I tried putting oil in it and stuff, and it still still doesn't work. I mean, it worked for a little bit and then stopped, and you know. So I'm gonna have to take it apart and see what's going on. Something inside might have broke. It looks like this. It says crashing, but it looks like this might be a a Chicago pneumatic or something, which is a pretty decent brand. And uh, I've never used it industrially. You know, I've, I've only used it in the house here and. Uh, you know, it's had use, but uh, not real heavy use. But like I say, I've had it for a while. I mean, it, it is made in Taiwan, but uh, that just tells you it's it's not not from the 80s or something. All right, let me uh, let me blow it off, and then uh, we'll take it apart and see if we can figure out what's wrong with this thing. All right, right now uh, I have about 110 pounds hooked up to it, which is which is more than I usually use. I usually keep it around 100, but uh, see what it's doing, and you can, you can, you can, you can, you can almost sort of get it to run, but it don't. And like I say, it, it is oiled. You know, there is oil in it, so uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's something simple in there. But uh, we're gonna have to take it apart and see. All right. Well, the first thing we'll do, I guess, we'll take the, the disc off here. Five sixteenths, yep. Hopefully it ain't on too tight. Okay, what'd you do? Oh, here we go, wasn't tight at all. Okay. From Taiwan, I'm assuming it's metric, so we got a a screw in the side here. I'm wondering. If we should just take this screw out, this Allen screw out here, and start from the top. We get four screws here holding that in there, but uh, well, let's uh, see. Let's see. Looks like it's like a four millimeter. You know, I used to buy. Not, not strictly Craftsman, but a whole lot of Craftsman, you know, because it was it's it was convenient and they were good tools. But uh, I don't buy Craftsman anymore because it's all Chinese. Well, everything I got, you can see here, this is made in the USA. All my Craftsman wrenches are in the USA, so I have all the old stuff, you know, I've been around that long. This is a fluke that this here is, uh, it's the wrong size, Road King. That was made in Taiwan. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I figure if I'm going to buy Chinese or Taiwan or something, I might as well uh, just go with Harbor Freight. Got the same guarantee. Wow, that hole's tight. Tight, I tell you. Always keep a little little bucket here to keep uh, parts in. There we go. Wow, it's a fine thread. Oh, look at that. That came out pretty easy. Alright, looks like our problem is in here. Hmm. You see now there is there is some body dust in here and I can see that getting gloppy and stuff over the years, especially you mix that with the uh, oil, so hopefully that's that's our only problem. Okay. Don't even look like this this rubber thing I think is just a protector. 
So it's like a uh, four millimeter here. Here we go. Remember where that goes. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, different size bolts. Same size uh, Allen screw, but different uh, different size bolts. Interesting. You guys still with me? I'll try to keep this in frame. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's take note. The top ones, the top are shorter. Good thing you guys caught that. I would have figured it out when I couldn't screw it in all the way. Oh, here we go. Hmm. So far, I don't see anything. I've got a gasket here. I'm going to try to separate it without ruining it. There you go. Good work, Road King. Hmm. Now, got to look at that and see what's holding that in, if anything. All right, let me shut these down while I investigate. Okay, I'm still figuring out how that comes out. I haven't figured it out yet, but uh, I was thinking if uh, if that's that dirty and everything, that means I should take this uh, this piece out here. Put my glasses on here so I can see. Actually. It is loosening that up. It has a sort of like a circlip on there, but I think that's just to keep that pin from going through. Hmm. Let me get a let me get the magic hammer. All right, I tried taking this piece out here, and I can't do it. It's frozen in there. This here is just an air valve to control the speed, and uh, that should shoot right out of there. I took that uh, horseshoe clip out, whatever the hell that was, and I tried hitting this with a plastic hammer here, and uh, I'm not getting any movement at all. Either way, and I even put a pair of vice grips on this and tried to move it, and couldn't. So I put some croil on there, and uh, we'll let that sit for a while. Although you know, croils for rust and stuff like that, and uh, this here might be uh, something different, who knows. But uh, anyway, let's uh, take his handle off here. I don't think I have any metrics that small, so i got to use my metric, uh, my 4 inch uh, metric uh, adjustable here. Or should I say 10.16 uh, millimeter, huh? Or centimeter, that would be centimeter, that would be uh, 100. 1.6 millimeter for you Canadians out there. And you know what? I'm going to use my uh, my Harbor Freight screwdriver. I read somewhere these are made in America. Anybody know anything about that? Leave a comment if it's true. Or somebody's just blowing smoke up my uh, arse. Metric adjustable is working pretty good. There we go. Now, I need a metric wrench to take that off. Alright, let me see what size that is. Don't go away. Okay, that looked to be a 14. Oh, that wasn't very tight. Can't get my fingers in there. I thought that was going to take the valve out, but uh, that's just going to take this little handle off. And then, and then that valve should come out. The figures, it ain't going to fit in there. Oh, wait, wait. 
it might fit in here. The little rubber's holding it. Plus, plus that valve, but that valve should go down. Oh man. Alright, let me figure something out there. Ay ay ay. Okay. I need a deep well to get in there. The only deep well I have is a is an impact 14. So let's see if we can get it in there. Oh, feels like it's gonna fit. Let me tap that in there to get it secure. Okay. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that just barely fits in there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's uh, inset down there. But we got it. A piece of rubber ain't helping. A piece of rubber's in the way. This is actually getting tight. This is where you gotta watch out for springs and shit flying out. Oh. I don't know about springs, but there is a ball bearing there. Don't wanna come out though, is there? Let's see what that is. You guys can't see this, but. I don't know. It is some kind of spring. I thought it looked like a ball bearing, but it's actually some kind of the end of some kind of spring. Alright. Well, that doesn't look bad at all. Even the O rings and stuff are good. Okay. Let's continue on. I still haven't figured this out. Huh. I going to say that felt like it loosened up a little bit. Actually, it did. It loosened up a lot. Where's your screwdriver at? Hmm. One didn't have nothing to do with the other. Huh. I don't know what's going on here. All of a sudden, it's uh, spinning good. All right, let me investigate a little bit. Okay, I think I'm onto something here. I think it just pulls out. It tightened up again. I think it pulls out. You see? Looks like it's coming. Not easy. Not easy, but it's coming out. Work it. Work it, buddy. I'm gonna send some lubricant down in there, see if that helps. Trying to get it on the top so it don't get slippery. Whoa, look at that. Oh, I see what's going on here. Looks like a little rust. I don't know why. I would have rust because I don't have rust in the shop here. Huh. And. Huh. On the gallon. Oh. Let's see what's going on. Looks like it's just some rust. I don't understand that. I don't have any any rust in the shop here. Okay. Yeah, even in here, I don't know if you can see that. It looks a little, uh, even though it's aluminum. That's, uh, oh, you know what? Huh. I wonder if I was sanding something metal. And uh, the metal filings or the dust got in there. Huh. Uh, this just looks like a cleanup job here. But then my, my trigger's still stuck there, but at least it's stuck open. 
Okay. Let me clean this up. Okay. This piece here loosened up. It looks like the, this outside rust doesn't really matter because that, that doesn't really spin. Matter of fact, it's got a little uh, roll pin in here to keep that in there from spinning. But that also means it was rust inside of here, and that seems to have broken loose. So this does come apart. It's held on with a little horseshoe clip, and uh, it does it does move. It is kind of funky here. There are bearings, and the bearings are in good shape. But I think I might take that horseshoe clip out. It's got a spring clip too. I might take that out and uh, we'll see what's going on there. Maybe clean it out real good. You got an O-ring here too. Looks like it needs to be replaced. It is kind of flat and stuff, but I don't have any metrics. I got plenty of American, but no metrics. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to take this. I put gloves on because I got the uh, lacquer thinner in it. Uh, the rust and the coil and stuff was that getting into my skin and it to turn orange. So, you know, you think you can wash that stuff off, but you can't. So, I'm going to clean this up. I'm not going to hit this with any kind of wire brush or something. I might hit it with a little uh, steel wool just down on the bottom here. But there's other stuff, like I said, this is just body dust. Years and years of body dust, and it don't look like it's interfering. But since I got it open, we're going to give it a bath. Alright, let me clean that up and then the next thing we'll do we'll take this apart. Maybe I'll even clean this up while I'm doing it. You guys don't want to watch that, do you? I didn't think so. Alright. Alright. I cleaned the inside of this out. It cleaned up pretty nice. But I don't think there was any problem with that. And I did, I was able to shoot some more uh, arrow coil down there. I shot it down here, that way it's going to hit the, the back of that, and I also shot some down here. So uh, I'm going to let that sit, maybe that will loosen up. But uh, I think I'm going to try and take this apart now. So, let's see, let's see if this... Uh, no, it's spinning. And it's also, it's got a, a spring washer on there, so it's not going to be easy. Chat on the other side of the garage there. There we go. It wasn't too bad. We got that. We got that little... What would you call that? Looks like a spring or something. Oh, look. Alright. We're all going to see this together for the first time. Looks like it's going to come apart. Nope. Maybe not. Why would that stop it? Is it that tight? Hmm. Stick a little screwdriver in there just to see what's going on. Hmm. Okay. I might have to uh, put a punch on there. Yeah, it looks like that. Uh, okay, it's going through. Okay. I'm going to turn you guys off and then uh, I'm going to take this top off. Alright, there's only one of us here. So I can't have somebody hold this while I get a punch on it. So I'm going to use the magic hammer. I don't know if you notice, it's got a point on it. It's not a sharp point, but uh, with a good eye. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's see what's going on. Oh, I see. It's just dirt. It has these little veins that come out. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Let me take this off here. Hmm. It doesn't look like we have to go any further than that. I think maybe just a good bath. A good bath will be okay. Looks like these little wafers fall out. Hmm. They appear to be in good shape. Okay. 
we want this. This was a one. Right? Nobody says I gotta go back in the same spot, but Road King's gonna put them back in the same spot. Okay. One's on top. Alright, I'm gonna clean this up real good. Barons, the barons are excellent. Although, although they do sound dry, they look like you can't service them. You can't, you can't grease them. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna clean that up and clean this up. Okay. I should have made note where that was. I think that was on the top. I can always I can always go back and look at the video. All right, I'm gonna clean it up. All right, I cleaned everything up. Uh, this video is probably getting pretty long, and uh, I don't want to make it too long. So uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put it all this together and lubricate it. I got some transmission fluid. I don't have any uh, tool oil, but uh, it's pretty much the same. I know I know guys that use the automatic transmission fluid for years. They also use Marvel Mystery Oil and stuff. It's all the same stuff, mineral oil or whatever. But uh, I'm going to uh, paint this all up with this and lubricate everything real good. And uh, I'm going to put these fins in there. Then this goes on there. And then this top goes on. And you see everything goes on real nice right now. So uh, I'm going to lock that on. And then i got to make sure I put the O ring on and then put it in there. So uh, I'm going to do that, and uh, I'm not going to videotape because, like I said, this is getting too long. So uh, I'll, I'll just show you. Once I put this all back together, and we'll put it in here, we'll uh, screw it together. Also, I forgot to mention, I, I did get this pin out the side here, and that's uh, the air controller. It took a, it took a lot of persuasion, but uh, we got it out. All right, I got this together. A little bit of a struggle putting that uh, snap ring on with that uh, spring washer on the bottom, but uh, we got it. Got it all lubricated in there, and now uh, I'm going to stick it in here. It's probably going to be too much oil and stuff. It may gag and choke when we first start it, but uh, I'd rather do this. That way we know it has oil in it. Now, like I said, this this video is getting kind of long, so... This here is going to be a little tough to stick in here because I don't know if you can see it, but this this center piece is actually three pieces in it. It moves, but you got a little pin here, and the pin goes up top, and this has to be put in perfect because it's a perfect fit. Now we got the first one in. It's cocked. Oh, there we go. Got the second one. Look, it's going. It's going in easier than I thought. Okay. Now you just have to move it over here. There we go. There we go. I thought it was going to give me trouble, but it didn't. Okay, now we're going to put the gasket on. Have to figure out which way it went. It went this way. Okay. And then this on. And then let me bolt all that up. And then uh, we'll go from there. Like I said, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Alright, I got that on. Now, we got to put this back on. I'm going to eat, probably don't need any oil in here, but uh, I'm gun shy now, so everything's going to get oil, right? Right? Okay. This actually, this just goes over this sleeve here, and then you got this screw. Let me see, I'll turn this around so maybe you can see it. So I actually have to uh, line that up. Hmm. I really can't see. So I'm going to stick this in there and go uh, blind. Alright. You know what? I think I got it. Yeah! Ha! <laughs> Road King, you kill me! Look at that. First shot. I thought I was going to be dicking around after hours. Okay, that's... Uh, that holds that piece on. Now we just have to put the handle and the, the little air valve on. 
It goes in pretty far. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh man. Looking good. Things are looking up. Okay. Yeah, that's been a good. So now, if you remember, we gotta put this uh, little air valve in. This was the trigger. <clears throat> yeah, if you're gonna rebuild these, could <clears throat> I could have got a, a kit or something, got all them uh, O-rings, but uh, they're fine. That wasn't the problem. Okay. And tighten this up. Now I put the handle on. All right. Let's put this handle on, if I recall. The top, pointy end went up top. Put a lock washer on. These are slippery. These are slippery here. Okay, let me put that nut on. I don't want, I don't want to waste any more of your time. Alright, put the handle on. You guys know how that goes on. Look at that. Yeah, let's put this disc on. And we'll give it a give it a smoke test. Oh, come on. Here you go. Okay. It's tight enough for a test run, right? Alright, let me grab an air hose here. Okay. It's the maiden voyage. Ah, oh, there you go. Got it on low speed. Is my is my volume control here? That's working pretty good. Look. All right, it's gonna puke a little oil out the sides here, cause I uh, I put so much in there. But uh, that's good. That's good. Good sign. All right, so we're good to go, man. All right, didn't cost me a cent to fix that. What probably happened is uh, yeah, I probably hadn't wheeled it in a little while, and then the, the last time I used it, there was probably a little moisture in the air, and because uh, I drain the compressor pretty regular. But anyway, I don't know if you guys could see this, but it says right on the back here, oil daily. They don't put that on there for nothing. All right, I'd call that a success. All righty, thanks for watching. Enough of this.